Hi, welcome to my channel, Blue Lady Thrifting. Please like, share, and subscribe. This is everything that I got at a garage sale near the Trumbull Country Club. And just a couple of items from a sale on my street. We'll start with those. So, for $2, I got these Ray Dunn Eat, Enjoy, Cheers, and Drink placemats. And let's see, they would sell for about $10 to $30 each. Most of them online were brand new and had their ribbons and tags with them. And the other thing I got was this set of little um, children's board books. Molly's barking at a person going by, probably walking by. Um, these were $5 and they actually retail for $5. So that was going to be a gift so that was still a good deal all right now on to the garage sale by the country club um the person at this garage sale liked to bake so she had so many pie pans and and things but i picked up the shortbread pans this one is ironclad um it is the gingerbread house and I bought it for $3 and it sells anywhere between $15 and $60. It is very heavy. Brand new in the box. Also brand new was this bunt pan. Um, it's pretty leaves on the top. I paid $3 for that and it only retail or it only sells online for $7. The gingerbread shortbread pan I don't remember what brand it is but I paid three dollars for it and it sells anywhere between 15 and 25 oh yes it's Heartstone from 1990 and it came new in the box with some um, shortbread recipes also new in the box were these um, brown bag cookie art I got one Easter one and one Christmas one. I paid $3 each for them and they sell anywhere between $7 and $17. The green, let's see, I don't know if it's a, and I think it's a brandy snifter, but it's got that interesting pattern on it. I got it for a dollar and it sells anywhere between $10 and $20. And then the little anchor hawking vase with its ruffledness um i paid a dollar for it and it sells anywhere between 10 and 20 dollars the egg basket back here i paid a dollar for it and it sells anywhere between 45 and 125 dollars so egg baskets or some people call them buttocks baskets because of the because of the shape they um if you find those they sell well and then here's the Mexican Tanala horse. He actually had a doll sitting on top of him, but I did not like the doll, so I just got the horse. And when I took the doll off, I noticed he was a bank, but unfortunately, you can't get your money out unless you break him. But he's um, 1982, and he either sold for $200 or 200 pesos, I'm not sure. But I paid $3 for him, and he only sells for about $15 to $30. Some more brown bag cookie um, molds. This one is a heart shape for Valentine's, I guess. Paid a dollar for it. It would sell between $10 and $15. And the Santa one is not brown bag. It's um, kitchen distributed by Kitchen Collection, but I paid a dollar for him, and he would sell anywhere between $5 and $15. This is a little bit of Christmas in July for you. This is a mercury glass vintage um, ornament. I paid a dollar for him, and he has sold anywhere between $10 and $55. Cool. And then this little um, nutcracker is probably going to be a gift for somebody. I paid a dollar for him, and he sells for about $5. All right, moving back here, this um, water pitcher with its um, stripes, kind of like a beehive. Um, it's not hand blown, I don't believe. 
because it doesn't have an applied handle. It might have been like blown into a mold because it does have the seam right there. But I paid a dollar for him and he sells anywhere between $10 and $30. But he is made in Italy. Then back there to the fish, the koi fish. Two of them are vases and one is just a decorative piece. I paid $3 each for them and the um, vases sell for about um, $20 and then the big decorative one sells for about $25. Um, they do have their signed by the artist underneath. These two do. And then the big one, let me see if I can turn him over for you to look at the bottom. He's a little bit heavy. He doesn't have any markings on the bottom of him. And then right here, the little turtle, he was supposed to have a lid, but I figure you can put like a succulent or my mom says an air fern in him. He is Formalities by Balm Brothers. I paid a dollar for him and he sells for about $10. The lid, though, was really cool. It had a lid, and then it had, like, another little figural, like a little frog or something on top. It would have been cute if it would have had the lid with it. But I'll probably keep him and gift him with a little, a little plant in him. The next blue thing was these um, teacups and saucers, or, like, the Dimmy Toss little cat, little um, espresso cups. They are um, Bohemia, made in the Czech Republic. And I paid a dollar each for these, and they would sell for about $10 each. This little fish here I picked up. I guess he's a flounder with his two eyes on the same side of his head. I picked him up because he was a fish, and I liked him. Joyce Chin Japan. He is actually a garlic or ginger grater. These little things right here are really rough, so you can great those things on and he sells anywhere between seven and sixteen dollars these little blue cups they're blue and they have the um the crow on them which i thought was something but they are from ponitz um, made in germany and they're supposed to have their little saucers with them and i didn't get the saucers because the saucers weren't there but i paid a dollar each for those and they sell for $20 each, 25 if you have the saucer. The little milk glass vase here I liked because of the blue flowers. I believe it's just an applied flower. I'm not sure if it's hand painted or not to look at it more closely. Um, I paid a dollar for that and it sells for about $10. The little rooster and hen with their polka dots. I, pay, I paid a dollar for the set. Um, they've got their stoppers and he is made um, clay art, made in the Philippines. And they sell anywhere between eight and $10. They do have some of their paint missing, but they were super cute. So I got those anyway. The Charlie Brown ornaments. These are a set, um, like that's fourth in a collection of five. That one's sec second in a collection of five. They've got their paperwork inside, but that was what the original collection of five was supposed to look like. But I paid a dollar each for these, and they sell, let's see, anywhere between eight and nine dollars each. Okay, and last, it looks like, is the sake set. Um, I don't often find sake sets with the decanter and the cups, but these are just marked by the symbol right there, which I think is the artist's signature, but they're, you know, art pottery with the speckled glaze inside from Japan. I paid a dollar for the whole set, and it sells anywhere between $15 and $40. But that was a short video, but that was everything that I found at a garage sale near the Trumbull Country Club, and I had fun going through it. And as always, anything you 
I find I put on my eBay store in case you must have it you can find it there at the eBay store and I thank you for watching